The last part of section 1.2 deals with other properties that are very important dealing with our number system. Out of your note notebook, I'm going to help you fill in the chart on the notes on page 15 as it says up here. But what we're really, really going to talk about today are these three properties that I'm putting check marks by. The commutative property, the associative property, and the distributive property. The commutative property. There's the commutative property of addition, and there's the commutative property of multiplication. The commutative property of addition says that basically, if I take two numbers in our number system, 2 plus 7, I can switch them around and get the same answer. So 2 plus 7 obviously is equal to 7 plus 2. When you switch numbers around, that's called commutative. Same for multiplication. 2 times 3, I know we all understand, is equal to 3 times 2. That would be an example of the commutative property using numbers. Now in the next column it says algebra. Algebra is just the use of letters. Well that works the same way. If I have two numbers B plus C, I can switch them around and maintain the same answer. That's the same as C plus B. Same for multiplication. If I go X times Y, that's the same as Y times X. We all understand that those properties are true. So that's called the commutative property. The associative property also works for addition and for multiplication. Now, the associative property says that you can take three numbers. So, for instance, if I have 2 plus 3, and I put that in parentheses, plus 4, I could switch those parentheses and... I could add 3 and 4 together first, and then add 2, and still get the same answer. The associative property basically is moving the parentheses, if you want to remember that. Same is true for multiplication. If I want to go 2 times 3 first, and then times 4, that would be the same as if I wanted to multiply 3 times 4 together first and then at the end times by 2. I believe we all understand that you get the same answer. So the associative property is where you move the parentheses. And algebraically, it works the same. I can, use, I can do the same thing with letters. If I want to add A plus B in parentheses first and then add C, that would be the same as if I have A outside the parentheses and I add B plus C first. That would be true. Multiplication is the same. If I want to times A times B first and then times by C, I can switch the parentheses around and times B and C first and that then times by A and there's the same. The most important of all the properties, and the one that you are going to use the most, is the distributive property. And I believe that we have all worked with the distributive property in the past. That says, if for instance, if I have, um, let's say, the number 3 outside parentheses, and I'm going to add 2 plus 4 inside the parentheses, that would be the same as taking 3 times 2, and 3 times 4 and adding the results. So 3 times 2 plus 3 times 4. I believe most of you understand that that is true. Now algebraically that also works the same because if I have 3 and in the parentheses I'm going to add x plus 4, distributing means take the 3 times the x and then takes the 3 times the 4 and add the results together and you get the same thing. Distributive property we are going to use a great deal this year so make sure that you know that one or ask questions if you need further assistance.